This is Eric Mwabe from Mwabe.com. As we see towards the end of October 2020, the markets are showing a pullback look. And we can see here with the S&P 500 monthly, it's coiling down over the last two months. Now, as we can see here, so the question is, how much of a move are we going to get down? And unless you're on the inside, we don't know, right? But we can see that there are periods in a market where there's a, an aggressive pullback like we did here in the early part of 2020. Now, since most retail traders don't even trade options, and let's say you want to take advantage of an aggressive move lower, retail traders are left with one other option, which is to play bear ETFs and see whether they can capture some type of a profit in a down market now let's take a look here at an example so we can see this is the brazilian bear etf bzq and i just want to highlight this area where it was moving higher as the general market was moving lower now of course for those who are looking for a bearish entry this would have been a good option to see how one can could have timed an entry from let's say the 20s to the highs here of about 55. Now there's a way you can do that which is the reason for this video and I call this method the Moade Virgin Breakout. Links are going to be in the description and this is based on the daily chart for the most part and let's take a look at the daily and this is going to be one and a half years of daily data. I just want to highlight that there was a period where this instrument was going sideways to down before that explosive phase as of early this year. So obviously, in an effort to capture the upside in a down market, this is a desirable phase where there's momentum. So what the Moade Virgin Breakout does is give you a swing trade entry method for situations like this. And it tends to be able to capture explosive short-term moves in any instrument. The main attribute of this method is taking advantage of flat moving averages. Is a flat moving average here in February and flattening out moving averages here in late February. And this is pretty much capturing the movement of the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average showing a crossover at some point in this process. As you can see here, ultimately, there was a, a, an explosive crossover between the 50 and the 200 day moving average. So based on the method, entry points could have been either this breakout here. So either capture this breakout or use this daily closing high there for another breakout entry and there's another breakout right here now all of this in this instant where there's momentum all of this was successful which now brings us to the current situation we have flattening out moving averages here by way of the 50-day moving average going flat take a look at your 200-day moving average it is going flat now what this means in theory is that if this market the general market is going lower then we can anticipate a potential breakout above the recent daily closing high and we can also anticipate possibility of movement cooling down and another breakout at some point down the road so if this is going to be an instrument that's going to be on fire it's going to have multiple entry levels if we know how to take advantage of the method which is the Moade Virgin breakout links are going to be in the description by the way a little bit of a side note yesterday i was talking about failed breakouts take a look at this close here and the eventual breakout attempt we can see that that daily breakout failed and that in itself was a red flag so again by understanding the power of failed breakouts we can avoid some painful situations and a lot of the stocks right now 
that were attempting breakout attempts with this current market pullback are now showing failed breakouts and as I always say, failed breakouts are notorious for taking instruments lower. This is Eric Moade with Moade.com. Again, the links. And for more information on the Moade Virgin breakout, links are going to be in the description of the video. E, a C, S. And so it is. Love, light, light, love. Namaste.